Hi guys, my name is Naluni. Can't even pronounce my own name properly. Hi guys, so that was such a very unenthusiastic hi. Hi guys. <laughs> and don't forget to. This is my first video, so I really don't know what to do. I should have started earlier. That's gonna be up for two hours, so I got time. Let's go. Hi guys, so for those of you that don't know, my name is Naluni, I am 21 years old, I am born and raised in Dubai but I'm Sri Lankan. As you can tell by the title, today's video will be about how to color your beautiful mane of hair at home. Since everyone's stuck at home with quarantine and all that jazz, I am one of those lucky ones because I don't have to deal with going to the salon. I've been coloring my hair by myself since I was about 15. And yeah, I've pretty much never been to a salon to cut my hair. I don't trust anybody with my hair. I don't trust anybody with my eyebrows anymore. Big disclaimer, I'd like to mention that I am not a professional hairstylist in any way. These are all tips and tricks that I have learned from other people's videos. Informing you guys that this is what's worked for me and it's what's worked for most of my friends who have helped color their hair or people who've asked me for advice before. So yeah, I'm just going to be walking you guys through the process of the products that I'll be using. So these products that I use are on the lower price range and um, I know that many people will probably like to buy, you know, expensive stuff ex expecting them to work better for their hair but personally like I do not, I do not view it in that way. Like for me it's like if it's, if it works, it works. All these products that I buy are from Nazi Cosmetics and I obviously live in Dubai. All these products are available in Dubai for us and I am I think that they have other branches in other JCC countries but I'm not too sure. I will link their website in the description box below. But yeah, I went to the stores. You can order online from them as well and this is not sponsored in any way. I just love uh, Nazi Cosmetics. I buy all my hair products from there. There are other products that I buy from there as well but yeah. So mainly the hair products and this one's the blue bleach. Um, but yeah, I'll. So there's two different kinds of bleaches, and I'll pop in. I'll touch into that subject later on a separate video. But um, because blue bleach is for people like me who have dark hair, or and white bleach is for people who have lighter hair and stuff like that. But like I said, I'll go into that in a different video, or uh, this video will be hella long. But yeah, so this. 500 grams packet is 37 dirhams and Nazi usually always has discounts most of the time and so they're usually on like 75% discounts and stuff so I usually end up getting most of my products during that time and stock up so this was actually 37 but do the math I think I spent like 22 bucks for this um I don't know I'm not this is a developer that you mix in with the, the bleach and this bottle of this bottle of one liter cost me sixteen fifty, but on discount it probably cost me I don't know like eight bucks or something. Anyways, after I bleach my hair twice, hopefully, I will be going in with this um, toner. Uh, so it's Indola exclusively professional blonde expert uh, toner. Uh, this cost me. This cost $27.50, so I paid probably 75% of that, I guess. I, I'm not going to be doing the math anymore. Disclaimer that this is the first time I'm using this product and I've never toned my hair. Uh, so after I bleach my hair, usually people tone their hair to get rid of the yellowness and stuff, but let's see how that works. And then if that doesn't work, I'm going to be going in with the purple shampoo. So generally, if you're toning your hair, purple shampoo is not going to do anything and what I've heard is that uh, purple shampoo is not it, it doesn't get rid of you know uh, it's not something you use immediately after bleaching your hair like it's not the same as toner so I accidentally bought this but I'm gonna give it a try and uh, let, let's see how it is because over here it says it's for gray blonde or super lightened hair so let's see how it goes if the indola toner doesn't work so after I bleach my hair and hopefully tone my hair, I will be going with my hair dye color with a crazy color shade number 59, which is sky blue. And I'll be going in with this and a mix of 
their shade number 45 which is peacock blue and it depends on what what i choose in the end what depends on my mood i'm hopefully going to be doing an ombre with these two from blue to green or green to blue god knows let's see um so these are being sold at 29.50 each um so i think i got it for 11 dirhams if i'm not mistaken i don't know if you can tell but i do have quite dry hair as it is it's just i'm curly hair for it my natural hair is quite curly and curly hair tends to be a bit coarse than normal people's hair <laughs> yes. but um so i mean you would ideally do the same things i'll just let you know now itself before i stop bleaching my hair that if you are going to be bleaching your hair from your roots usually people would leave the roots and do the rest of the hair first and then go ahead and do the roots last just because i've heard that um i've heard people say that the roots tend to get more brighter like your roots will probably be like a level eight even and the rest of your hair will be like a level five sometimes so people like if you do it roots downwards so you ideally what i've heard is people bleach the rest of the hair and then the roots last i usually cut bleach my hair one day and then i'll color it the next day so just so i can give my hair a little bit of a break some people don't really care some people would just do it on the same day there, there have been times that i've colored my hair on the same day immediately after bleaching but this time i sort of want to give my hair a break because I've, i'm hoping to bleach my hair twice because my hair is a bit light already but um I need to go at least to a level level 8 blonde, hopefully. I don't know how, let's see how it turns out, I guess. Um, I've done some interesting colors before. I've gone red, uh, purple. I've tried to do green, never worked out. I've done a mix of red and purple together, but, and I've done quite a few shades of brown. Anyways, uh, red is usually my go-to color and I've never done anything outside. Of those colors so today i'm gonna be coloring my hair blue but yeah so more thing that i'd like to mention is that when you're bleaching your hair or coloring your hair it's ideally best to shower like not shower for like three to four days and just let your natural oils from your hair from your scalp you know come out and it would help you know it just generally overall helps and after you color your hair like if you are someone with colored hair uh I mean you should probably know this by now but you shouldn't really wash your hair as often like literally you should probably just wash your hair once a week or you know every four days and stuff like just invest in a good dry shampoo and it'll help you on the long run just because the more you wash your hair obviously the more color that's gonna uh, bleed out and you wouldn't want to like you know retouch your hair again that often unless you're someone who's you know very clean and I mean, I'm not saying to not take a body wash, but yeah, just try and avoid washing your hair as much as you can every four days, maybe. Like, I usually let my hair let my hair be every four days. And I am going to go ahead and change into a regular t-shirt that I wouldn't mind getting stained. And I'll see you in the bathroom. So yeah, I've got my t-shirt on that I do not mind getting stained. Please do not forget to wear gloves. I have seen so many people not wear gloves and bleach their hair or color their hair without wearing gloves and trust me it is not good for your hands especially the bleach your hands are more sensitive obviously compared to your hair but yeah the ratio of bleach to developer that i'll be doing is one to two so that's um 60 grams of the blue bleach and 120 ml of the <clears throat> developer which is a 30 volume developer it's a three volume and then underneath that it says nine percent but i'm so basically it'll be 20% is 6% of Alex in the next video, like I said. But yeah, I've got my weighing scale that I stole from the kitchen. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up together. Looks like a cheap version of some Louis Vuitton design, I have no idea. And I look like an idiot, but 
Just grab your hair clips and hairbrush and yeah, let's start sectioning our hair. Also, just a tip, uh, please brush your hair down and then like and then up. So ideally just brush your hair from up just your roots and then move on to your ends. And always just hold on to your hair over here so you don't like you know tug it too much. Just grab a comb and just place it on top of your head and wherever it is is the apex of your head, like wherever it touches your scalp the most is the apex of your head. So go ahead and section it off this way all the way to the back of your ears. So it'll be coming in from the back of your ear like this. I don't know if you can see there. You can and then just section up to push that back. Place your head the apex again and then go from there to the back of your ear. Bring the hair in the front. So you have these sections that you brought in from the apex of your head. So yeah. And then you're gonna section that off. Yeah, so basically you've got like these two sections out front. Just gonna go ahead and clip this up. By the way, I got these clips from Nazi Cosmetics as well, and they were like seven, 14 dirhams, sorry. So 14 dirhams for like a pack of 20, I think, so which was quite cheap. And then I'm gonna try and section my hair in the middle. So I'm gonna section my hair in the middle like that, and divide that into two, and then clip that back as well. So yeah, now you've got your hair sectioned into four pieces, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this area first just because um what i've noticed is i would usually go in with these two like the front parts first and they will be so much more bleached compared to the back so i want to give this time to process and then go in with my front pieces last just because i hate how it, my hair is always so bright only in the front and my root the, the back of my hair over here always looks so dull so, yeah. so i'm just going to go ahead and clip this this way just go ahead and grab two edge sections of your hair approximate i'm just going in with a, a bit thinner um a bit thinner section so like i said over here go in like that and then be afraid to use your hands but like I am going quite close to my roots but not as much and um, I'm not too worried about the hair behind it's just the hair in front that I'm worried about that like I do have like quite a lot of balding spots here you can't see right now but yeah so I'm not too worried about the hair coming in from the back so I'm gonna try and I'm not gonna like I'm probably just leaving like half an inch away from my roots so yeah my friends already prepared the aluminum foil stri strips for me and I'm gonna go ahead and place them and wrap them, wrap my bleached hair around it. Um, so the need for the aluminum foil is that um, when, you, when you wrap your hair in the aluminum foil, the heat that's being trapped inside will activate your bleach a bit more faster, ideally. And I've noticed that the times that I haven't used aluminum foil, I, might, I leave my hair to bleach just like that. The process takes a bit longer and is not as bright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, it's up to you if you don't wanna use aluminum foil or not. Like if you want to use it, it's up to you totally, but I'd recommend using it. So one thing, I've seen so many people just go ahead and grab this whole section of hair and bleach the whole thing. If you do that, it's going to come out so patchy and your hair won't be evenly bleached. So please, I had the habit of doing that. I would divide my hair into two and then I would just grab the whole chunk of it and bleach it. And just dab the bleach on and just run my fingers through it, that's it. But if you do that, 
your hair will turn out so patchy and it'll look horrible so it's best to even it out in as thin sections as you can lather on some more um, bleach on top of the foil feel free to do so So now less than 30 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and please do wash your hair with like lukewarm water, not cold water either because your cold water will, will just shrink your hair pores and you don't want your hair pores to like, shrink too much so just wash your hair in lukewarm water, please don't wash it in hot water either, so yeah. Bruh. Hi guys, this is day two. Um, I bleached my hair yesterday and it looked like this and yeah, as you can tell, it looked quite orange on these parts, and I didn't like that. So, uh, obviously, it would look weird if I had bleached, I colored my hair on top of that. So, I bleached my hair to this extent today. I had done the same uh, ratio of 1 to 2. So, I used 50 grams of uh, bleach powder and then 100 grams of developer, and then that wasn't enough. So, I did another batch for 30 grams of bleach powder and 60 grams of developer. So, yeah, and then I didn't want to tone my hair today just because I've never used that product before and the lady at the store told me that that was toner but when I read the package a bit more I realized that that wasn't toner and that it's just regular hair dye so I used a purple shampoo I know I probably didn't do much but I feel like it did help and, and to some extent so and then I went out with my conditioner and yeah so my hair ended up looking like this and it is to the lightness that I like so like I said, it was just why I didn't want to tone it and yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dye my hair blue and green. I'm gonna go put on my little robe first. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start dyeing my hair now. It's still a bit wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. And I'm going in with sky blue right now. And I'm not gonna put the whole bottle just because um it's I feel like a bit too much right now, so I can add as I can add as I go and I've seen people mix it with conditioner and developer and stuff but I feel like it's fine like it's the right consistency so now I'm gonna be mixing the peacock blue I'm gonna try and go for an ombre look but I'm a bit confused because these colors are darker than the color on the bottle so I'm gonna do the same and section my hair into four
But this is what the colors look like uh, on, on as a swatch. So this is uh, peacock blue and that is sky blue. So I'm gonna go in with uh, peacock blue on the top part and then sky blue on the lower part just because sky blue is too light. So this is my first time going for proper crazy color. So yeah, I needed a bit of help because um, I'm not able to reach the color with the I'm not able to reach the, reach the bleach on the top of my head to cover it up properly, so friends helping out. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with the sky blue on the lower part of my hair while she's doing the back, I guess. So I'm trying to not be too generous with the color, unlike I was with the bleach, just because um, I don't think I got enough. Like maybe I should have gotten two bottles from my head. But I mean, let's see. So try and always go in with. Uh, I mean, try and always go through layers, like separate it and see if anything's not been colored properly. And yeah, because especially when I was bleaching my hair, I didn't. Um, I didn't section it off properly in the first time and it didn't I missed a few spots so that when, I was doing, your head. <laughs> when I was uh, bleaching for the second time I had to go in with a bit more pretty much the same thing I couldn't reach the back of my roots and my friend helped me go in with there should have got a little bit of he got blue here for God. so I'm just gonna section these off and then you know bring it out a bit more down So this is what it looks like from the back, just wanted to give you guys a closer look of how the colors blended. My phone died on me, but during the time I went ahead and did the rest of my hair on this side, I didn't do anything different, uh, but yeah, once you're done with your hair, if there's any leftover product, just make sure and go through your, the rest of your hair a little and see if there's any leftover spots, which I did already, and there were a little bit spots that we missed, so we covered that up. So yeah, this is what it looks like from the back. Uh, pretty much made sure that everything is well saturated. I'm gonna let this sit for another 20 minutes or so on my hair and I'm gonna wash my hair with the Seos Color Salon Protect anti fade Shampoo. I'll wash this off now and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, so this is the final result of what my hair looks like. And it is not as blue as I was expecting it to be. Uh, the top of my hair is quite green, but I mean it was peacock blue, so what was I really expecting? Um, but it, it did give a nice fade from, you know, the peacock blue to the sky blue, like I don't know if you can see. Bring it up but up close. Like you can you can see the really nice fade from the peacock blue to the sky blue and I love it. Um but yeah, my hair is actually still quite soft, like, look at that, look at that shine. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to comment down below with how you guys feel about this hair color, and maybe what color you would want me to do next. Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in my next video.